In this problem, we are given that our V of t is equal to 100 sine 500t minus 23 degrees, and this is for volts. We need to translate the voltage into our cosine form. Well, we know that the first part, this 100, is our V max. We know that this number in front of our t is our omega, and we know that this value right here is going to be our phase angle. When we convert to cosine from sine, we know that our V max and our omega are going to stay the same. The only thing that's going to change is our phase angle. And to change our phase angle from sine to cosine, we are going to have to subtract 90 degrees. If we do a graph like this, we know that our sine starts at the bottom here, its max point is like right here, and it'll go on like this. While our cosine starts right here, and it'll go down, end up something like this. Well, our cosine max is right here, our sine max is right here. So we can say that our cosine is about 90 degrees behind our sine, which is why whenever we have a sine value like this for our phase angle, we have to subtract or add a negative 90 degrees to it. So if we have negative 23 degrees, and this is from our sine, plus a negative 90 degrees, we are going to get negative 113 degrees. And this is going to be the answer for part A. Now we need to find the RMS value of the voltage. There is notes linked below the like button in the description that give a formula for this, but the formula that we are going to use to solve for this is that our VRMS is equal to our Vmax divided by the square root of two. And this is only true for sinusoids. So we are going to plug in our Vmax, which we know to be 100, and we know the 100 divided by square root of two is going to give us approximately 71 volts. Now to solve for t, we need to find the voltage Vt at t is equal to 5 milliseconds. So in these problems, we solve in terms of cosine. So we are going to be plugging it into this cosine equation right here. Our Vmax is 100. We then have a cosine with our omega inside, and we know that our omega is 500. Now our t is 5, however, it's in milliseconds. And we need to convert this to seconds to solve for this. We know that 1 milli is equivalent to 10 to the negative cubed, so we're just going to swap that in here. And then we are going to have our angle, which will be a minus 113 degrees. Now we can see that our omega in time is in radians, while our degrees is in degrees. So we need to either convert our radians to degrees or our degrees to radians so that they're all one set. For this, I'm just going to convert this into radians by multiplying our degrees by pi over 180 degrees. Now, when we plug this into a calculator, it's important to make sure our mode is in radians if we are solving it like this. And this will give us the answer of approximately 86.4. And that is how we would go about solving this problem.